What is geothermal heating? Let's talk about how it works, concepts, and ground temperature. At a depth of below 4 feet, the ground temperature stays at a constant 50 to 55 degrees year-round. During the winter, a geothermal system absorbs this extra heat from the earth and transfers it into your home. During the summer, the system takes heat from indoors and moves it back underground. Annual air temperature, moisture content, soil type, and vegetative cover, trees and plants, all have an effect on underground soil temperature. As you might expect, the Earth's temperature changes in response to weather changes, but there is less change at greater depths. In a geothermal heating and cooling system, the heat pump is connected to the building by a distribution system, most commonly air ducts, and the heat pump is connected to the earth through a series of pipes called a loop, which was previously described above. The system exchanges heat with the earth, meaning that no noisy or unsightly outdoor unit is needed. You can see in this photo how the system works during the summer. The house temperature is 68 degrees Fahrenheit, Outside air temp is 95 degrees, and the ground temp is only 55 degrees, which is much lower than the air temperature. In the next photo, I will show you how the system operates during the winter. The house temp is 73 degrees Fahrenheit, outside air temp is 20 degrees, and ground temp 55 degrees. Let me explain how the pump transforms this temperature into heat or cold. Vapor Compression Cycle all heat pumps use a vapor compression cycle to transport heat from one location to another. In heating mode, the cycle starts as the cold liquid refrigerant within the heat pump passes through a heat exchanger or evaporator and absorbs heat from the low temperature source, fluid circulated through an earth connection. The refrigerant evaporates into a gas as heat is absorbed. The gaseous refrigerant then passes through a compressor where it is pressurized raising its temperature to over 180 degrees Fahrenheit. The hot gas then circulates through a refrigerant-to-air heat exchanger, where the heat is removed and sent through the air ducts. When the refrigerant loses the heat, it changes back to a liquid. The liquid refrigerant cools as it passes through an expansion valve, and the process begins again. Although heat pumps are complex internally, they are marvels of compact design for reliability. Some include features such as additional heat exchangers for water heating and microprocessor-based automatic controls and protection devices. Anatomy of a geothermal heat pump Instead of producing heat like a conventional furnace, a geothermal system moves heat from one place to another. The example below illustrates the summer cooling process. The cool, liquid refrigerant enters the indoor coil during cooling. As it enters the coil, the temperature of the refrigerant is between 40 and 50 degrees. As warm, moist room air passes over the cool coil, the refrigerant inside absorbs the heat. The new, cooler, drier air is circulated back into the room with a blower fan. The refrigerant moves into the compressor, which is a pump that raises the pressure so it will move through the system. The increased pressure from the compressor causes the refrigerant to heat to roughly 120 to 140 degrees. The hot vapor now moves into the condenser, the underground loops, where the refrigerant gives up its heat to the cooler ground and condenses back into a liquid. As the refrigerant leaves the compressor, it's still under high pressure. It reaches the expansion valve where the pressure is reduced. The cycle is complete as the cool, liquid refrigerant re-enters the evaporator to pick up room heat. During the winter, the reversing valve switches the indoor coil to function as the condenser and the underground piping to act as the evaporator. In short, the indoor coil and underground piping cause the refrigerant to change state, absorbing and releasing heat through boiling and condensing. The compressor and expansion valve move the refrigerant through the system by changing the pressure. Geothermal Advantages Efficiency Geothermal heat pumps are much more efficient than air source heat pumps because earth temperatures are much more uniform through the year than air temperatures. Not only are earth temperatures more constant, but also the range of temperatures in groundwater is rather small in the United States, varying from upper 40s to upper 70s nationwide. Geothermal heating and cooling makes sense. Geothermal systems are efficient, environmentally sensitive, comfortable 